Hello everyone. One of the viewers question to me a few days ago was how to deal with haters and my thoughts on it being a measure of your success. Firstly, thank you so much for your question. It touches a core area that each and every one of you watching this video will relate to in terms of how to deal with criticism and if someone criticizes you or something that you do, does that become a measure of your success? Answering the specific question, keeping in mind that this specific viewer has their own YouTube channel. If someone trolls you or criticizes you or your work, it's not an indicator of your success. If the message you're trying to spread through your channel positively impacts and inspires even one person out there and changes someone's life for the better, that is all that matters. Most importantly, are you satisfied with what you're giving back to the society? Are your intentions to help others and not just personal fame? If you have answered yes to both of these questions, that's the indicator of your success. Coming to the trolls or comments from those who don't agree or like what you're doing, you know what? That's okay. They're a hundred percent entitled to have their opinion and they're right from their lens. But what others think of you doesn't change your journey and the positive impact that you're having on those who've chosen to subscribe to your channel and follow your content. At the end of the day, when you go public, it is essential to tell your mind that there will be viewers who will resonate with your content and there will be those who won't. Both of them are right from their own perspective, but either don't have the power to control how you feel on the inside and the way you view your journey. When you get all the positive comments, you don't question that, do you? Then why question the negative comments? To not hand over the remote control to others of how you feel inside. Experiment practicing this one thing. Don't take any appreciation that you receive to heart, because when you do that, you'd automatically notice yourself not taking any criticism to heart as well. People can only offer you what they have. You can't expect an empty cup to fill your glass. Instead, you fill their cup by reciprocating with empathy and understanding. I'm sure just listening to this would have made you feel so good, isn't it? Imagine the satisfaction you'd get by practicing this. Hope this video helps each and every one of you watching this video to tackle criticism or different perspectives and using thought power to practice internal stability. Thanks once again to the viewers for your brilliant questions. Do keep them coming. Happy to help in the smallest way I can. Until next time.